like I want I would want to see what his junk looks like. <laughs> I'm like thinking like you think it'd be space cop. I don't know. I <laughs> that's why that's why I'm saying smash to like find it out. The Midwest, home sweet home in good old Indiana, place of small towns, cozy families gathered together, and fields of corn and rustic woods. But like any town, there is a dark underbelly that often goes unnoted. We are part of that darkness. We lurk in the shadows to bring you the best in horror, metal, and stories of the grotesque. This is Blood in the Cornfields. All right, welcome in, my little cellar dwellers. How are y'all doing? As always, I am Mark. And I'm Ivy. Hello. So, <laughs> so we welcome you into Blood in the Cornfields. Um, yeah, we kind of like to start things off just by kind of uh, telling some new stuff and everything. So uh, I always defer to you. So uh, what's what's new with you? <laughs> what have you been doing? Man, I have not had any chances at all to watch any new movies are that are terrible. horror related. And you are horrible. <laughs> I, I am. I'm supposed to be bringing you this this new shit and I'm not doing it. Um, but it's mostly, you know, mom, mom stuff and job. Yeah. So it's been very hard to just sit down and watch a movie. But I will say a couple other things other than that. Maybe, you know, I, I had some sparks of ideas for okay. future episodes. And they usually and they actually came because it was my birthday weekend. <laughs> awesome. So that was really nice. I am now old. <laughs> You're not old yet. <laughs> Being a mom ages you significantly. Did you, did you do anything special? I did. It was a wonderful birthday weekend. I actually got to have all my friends and family come out. We went to um, Table 108 in Goshen. It's a new restaurant. I was going to say, I've not heard of it. Uh, I think it's almost a year old, if not a year old now. Okay, okay. Um, but it's a wonderful Italian restaurant. So they had, oh, all right, now you're speaking my language. Yes. So they had good food? They had amazing food. Okay, so we didn't have to edit that shit out? No. <laughs> Pasta is fantastic. Ah. Um, they even have gluten-free options, which is great for cool. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, like, they have the most fantastic cakes. It's delicious. And it's literally um, the gentleman who owns the place, His, I believe his mother makes the cakes. That's cool. And, oh, my God, that's the one to die for. It's huh. like that is just so soft. And it's so good. So it's called Room 108 or just 108? Uh, table 108. Table 108. Yeah. Okay. It's it's kind of more like, I guess you could say fancy, but it's it's good. You could sure. honestly walk in there. I've seen people walk in there in normal street clothes, so yeah. it's fine. After that, I went to go see my friends uh, perform. I really love this band. I can't recommend them enough. They are not metal. Uh, they're right. kind of more bluegrass kind of believe it or not folksy kind of gospel music hey, i lived in texas for 11 years so oh, yeah but, I, I know what you're talking about yeah but they have a little bit of a spin <laughs> to their band yes it's like kind of gospel music and kind of bluegrass and uh, they're called brides and neptune and uh, except there's a little bit of a spin to it they they have some funny songs they really? have a song about <laughs> gg allen okay awesome <laughs> They have a song about Bonnie and Clyde. Okay. And they have a song, of course, they don't about smear Satan. Poo all over themselves. No, okay, no, right. no. They're a bit classy. Okay, all right. Just, you know. Oh, and I across the sky. Mr. Trace of cocaine. Skip out It's pretty you know, classy. For Gigi Allen's sake. <laughs> uh, they talk about smearing shit in okay, the song. Awesome. awesome. <laughs> and then they also <laughs> they have this amazing song that they just released. And it's about um it's a it's actually about a local kind of true crime cult that has happened around here, around these parts. Yes. Believe it or not. That seems very interesting. Um so I actually grew up in little old Milford. Milford. Near Syracuse. <laughs> and um uh there was a cult called the Glory Barn. 
led by Hobart Freeman. Hobart. That's such a cool name. Right? <laughs> and I've heard stories about it growing up. Yeah. I don't know where said glory barn was, to be honest with you. I had heard stories of where it was near. Yeah. But I didn't know exactly the location. Yeah. But these beautiful, beautiful people with Brides <laughs> and Neptune decided to write a song about Hobart Freeman. And I'm like, we need to do a podcast episode yeah. about this. At I'm some just point. hoping since it's called Glory Barn, it doesn't have a bunch of holes down the side of it. <laughs> so that's kind of honestly, that's what yeah. comes to mind when you think of Glory Barn. <laughs> yeah. So like, it would be nice at some point to do a true crime episode on that. And I'm like, oh, ideas. We yeah. need to have Adrian and maybe even uh, maybe later on interview the band. Yeah. We'll see. I have some thoughts about that later on and maybe we'll come up with something. But yeah, that's kind of what I have new. Sorry, no new horror news. I wish I did. I don't really have too much, but that's all right. The you know, and the hearing the story about like Glory Barn and I forget what the name already. My three second memory I already forgot. It's but all anyway, good. Um. Yeah, we, I've been in the mindset of true crime, especially because some of the stuff that we've put out, it looks like you guys like true crime. Y'all the most. really like true crime. So I'm trying to keep it going. Um, with that being said, I guess I'll go on a little rant for me. Um, since we talk about true crime and if y'all have listened before, we try to tell those true crime stories from the perspective of respecting the victim making sure their story gets told, uh, making sure that the killers do not get glorified. And I recently saw something that is a perfect explanation of like what pisses me off and what we're trying not to do. So scrolling through on my little phone, I get a lot of t-shirt companies because I order random shit. Like I order mm -hmm. random, random ass shirts <laughs> all the time. So t-shirts popped up all the time. And I saw this uh, Christmas sweater. <laughs> it was a picture of Jeffrey Dahmer right smack in the middle. And it says, I eat guys like you for breakfast. So that pisses me off to no end because I put myself in the pair in the shoes of the parents. And like, imagine if you were a, you know, a mother of one of his victims and there you go seeing his face getting glorified knowing that he did something atrocious to your family member mm -hmm. whatever it may be and that just really kind of gets me going and that in a nutshell is what we do not want to do exactly. the exact opposite of that opposite of that is what we're trying to achieve so um don't buy that shirt or sweater whatever don't be a douchebag <laughs> Don't glorify those killers. It's just it's nonsense. It's yeah. bad karma, too. So honestly, I, I I'm going to say this because I'm going to be blunt. Sure. I well, probably would have been one of those people back in high school that would have bought yeah. said Christmas sweater because I thought I was being edgy yeah. and I thought that it was cool. Yeah. Now, <laughs> going into the one, the field that I'm in as a mortician, I. Uh, understanding that these are real people that got hurt yep. and killed and brutally murdered. No, I would never do that now. Yeah. I am not about that. I do not want anything to do with that. Uh, but I will say I'm not a hypocrite. Mm -hmm. I just, I remember, so I don't know if any listeners out there maybe feel the same way yeah. or anything like that, especially when the new Dahmer show came out. I don't yeah. know if you remember that controversy. Where oh, there was absolutely. And I was... Like, the fact that Evan Peters played Dahmer, I'm just like, oh, no, because I knew it was going to get a lot of attention. But I wanted to see the perspective that they were portraying the movie. <laughs> and it was, you know, it, it came off, of course, obviously glorifying Jeffrey Dahmer. And I don't know how much of that was just Evan Peters doing a good job. But right. still, like, that, the series did not sit well with me. I, I think it was more of still, like, not <clears throat> showing from the victim's <clears throat> perspective. What I did like about it was that it did try to go into the victim's perspective, but not enough. And that's yeah. what bothered me is that it seemed like, again, uh, with Dahmer, that they're making him a sympathetic character. Yeah. And it's like, don't do that. Yeah. My friend Dahmer did a good job 
at not necessarily making him a sympathetic mm-hmm. character, but making you understand what turned him into what he is, the yeah. monster that he was. Yeah, absolutely. So it, it just, you know, just be better than that is all I'll say. Just be better than that. It's bad Carmen. It's disrespectful. Switching gears, I actually did watch a movie. Nice. Good for you. So Night of the Hunted. Not Haunted. Hunted. Hunted. Um... And one of the reasons why is because uh, when I saw the director's name, he sounded so familiar. Alexander Aja, I believe, A-J-A. Don't mm-hmm. know how to pronounce yeah, it, the, so I'm giving it a throw. Definitely sounds familiar. Um, he sounded familiar, and then when I looked up some of the movies, he's done a lot, of, a lot of shit that I like. So he did the Hills Have Eyes remake in 2006. He also did Crawl, that kind of killer alligator movie. Mm-hmm. Another personal favorite of mine, he did High Tension. Oh. Um, he also did Horns. Ha, with uh, Daniel, Daniel Radcliffe. Daniel Radcliffe, okay, yes. Yeah. He did Piranha 3D, um, Maniac, the 2012 version. Oh, shit. That was yes, him? Yes. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, Mirrors with Kiefer Sutherland and P2, that movie wow. where the girl's kind of like locked in the parking garage. Yeah. So Night of the Hunted was a good movie. It's a it's a horror thriller more, more of like a thriller, and it just kind of a uh, quick synopsis. A girl goes into a gas station and finds that someone had been murdered there, mm-hmm. and uh, she gets shot, and there's a sniper that's basically tormenting her. Mm. And interesting ending. Um not a bad movie if you like those kind of thriller movies. Had some uh, some brutal parts to it, but uh, overall, not a, not a bad little movie. Um, I don't do the rating thing, so but <laughs> yeah. but not a bad movie. I, it was pretty good. Kind of one of those suspenseful, like you don't know what's going to happen, and he kept he kept my attention pretty good. So I was I was pretty impressed with it. So first Friday recently, um, we had a little to do with that. <laughs> oh, that was so much fun. Yes. So Friday, actually, for first Friday, the first Friday in December for, you know, a little background for those of you in Goshen. Um, well, we knew we had an event Saturday, so it was kind of call it like a pre-promote type thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, we wanted to make sure that people knew about the event for Saturday, yes. the variety show that was being held at the, uh, by the Goshen Art House. Yep. At, at the, the Goshen, Goshen Theater. Theater. Yep. yep, absolutely. So um, we decided we were going to kind of dress up and what we were going to do Saturday, but do it the night before. Kind of hang out in front of the Goshen Theater. Um, I was dressed as Krumpus. Um, <laughs> had an interesting time. There was another Santa that I had a little, like, exchange that with. That was so funny. Yeah. Like, that other Santa, like, waves you over, and there's other <laughs> kids that are like, hey, take a picture with them. <laughs> so I took a picture with a regular Santa. Um, and then uh, just kind of interacting with the crowd people as they walk by. I don't know what was going on, but there was a ton of people down there for the first Friday. I think it might have been the Christmas tree lighting ceremony and then they may have had someone performing. Yeah, it sounded there was like. a Christmas tree lighting ceremony yeah. and then there was also a lot of kids events downtown. There really was. There was like literally, we got a pamphlet. Uh, oh, did you? Because uh, we went ahead and we went to uh, uh, to the, uh, the bookstore recently. Ah, yes, yeah, we yeah. were... Uh, we were there to go get books for, uh, I think, his cousin's, Casper's cousin's birthday. Sweet. And we saw a little pamphlet there that said, hey, by the way, this is happening on First Fridays. There's a lot of kids events. Yeah. Uh, there's pictures with Santa, like the, the Santa. The Santa. And then there was a whole bunch of like ornament making and different things that other shops were doing. So it was a very kid friendly thing. And yes. that's what was the funniest thing. Yeah. And a lot of the kids were into it. Um, I know the one little girl oh just God, absolutely she was loved me. So it was happy. Crazy. We have to post that picture. So Luke, you do us a favor if you can post yeah. that. Oh, um, it was like the most magical thing. Yeah. It was she like was, she saw a real Santa. Yeah. She was like freaking out. She loved it. And she was, you know, wanting to give me a high five. And she even asked her mom and she couldn't, have, she was probably like three, maybe, maybe three or four. Three or yeah, four. Definitely. And she asked her mom to take a picture with me, which was so cool. And and her mom um, was so cool about yeah, it too. Yeah. It was a that, lot of people were into it. There was a couple people that weren't. Like there's a couple snooties. And it was so <laughs> funny because yeah. like I come from a conservative background, so I've like been I've I've been the receiving end of this, mm-hmm. or not the receiving end. 
whatever I want to try to say there. Yeah. But like I've been in that situation with my parents where my parents are like, don't look at that, Danny. It's not good. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> so, you know, we had that. But then, you know, there was a, a point where I chased the young girls that didn't expect it and they like lost their mind. Oh, the teenagers. Yes. <laughs> yes. The two young girls and they lost their mind. So that was fun. Um, kind of promoting and everything. And then Saturday. Saturday Saturday was the big yes, show. Saturday was the big show. Uh, the so, art house had a variety show at the Goshen Theater. That's what we were kind of promoting. A lot of talented individuals. There's yes, a lot of there absolutely. was an improv. Uh, well suited was the name of that improv right. show. They did a great job. I really liked them. They were really they go funny. around quite a bit. They were announcing their other uh, dates and, and all that sort of stuff. And I was not that I was shocked because they were good, but mm-hmm. I was like, oh, that's cool. They actually like go around and tour and stuff. Yeah. So that was pretty awesome. Uh, um, yeah. We started it off. They had a little Crumpus video and then we came up from the side and snatched some toys from the audience and mm-hmm. kind of went up and talked about the podcast and stuff <laughs> like that. And then we... We got to sit there and watch everything else. Yeah, that was neat. So it was cool. Uh, you know, I, I enjoyed the uh, video board smasher pass with Christmas themed characters. Right. That was fun, especially because we just, you know, we're doing we're smasher doing a smasher pass. pass. <laughs> and we even told her, like, hey, that's our next episode. That's <laughs> yeah. actually really cool. So it lined up like that, kind of like our shirts. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, yeah. We both, we both got exorcist shirts yeah. on today. <laughs> that's twice we've done that now. Yep. Um, but yeah, it was great. I loved going down underneath the old theater. So that we, was really we went neat. down and mm-hmm. um, had like kind of the pseudo green room and stuff. Awesome. It was kind of old looking and then coming up from the side stage and stuff. I don't have a theater background. And when I was in bands, I, I didn't play on like a theater that I can remember maybe once, but don't really remember. Um, yeah. So I hadn't really been exposed to that too much. and It was kind of cool. Yeah, it was yeah. pretty cool. I definitely want to do something with them again. I was going to say the same thing. That was fun. It's been years since I was last in a theater production yeah. at all. Probably high school, honestly. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> it was cool. Um, we, you know, like we said, there's there was a ton of, you know, great people, talented people that were in it and very welcoming. That's what was cool because we were kind of like the new kids on the block. At least I was. I know. Oh, no, you, I agree. I felt the same yeah. way, man. So like, you know, I didn't really know too many people. Um, and just everyone was extremely nice, accommodating, you know, going over the whole show and, and what we were doing and when and stuff. So I really appreciated it. So I'm like all about doing stuff with the art house and the Goshen Theater again. Um, I'm all on board. Um, I even uh, messaged uh, Amanda. Amanda, was, yep. yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, separately, just thanking her, you know, uh, for, you know, welcoming us in and that like, hey, let us know if there's any future events that you want to do. We'd totally be down. So, yeah, that was that was yeah, pretty awesome. We I, really appreciate it. I enjoyed it. Amanda doing that for us and not to mention Steve as well for like telling Amanda hey should probably maybe get these guys on yeah. something you know she so, had some pretty awesome. pretty rad p- pants too they were like sparkly glitter, yeah, sparkly glittery white kind they of were amazing yeah absolutely <clears throat> and uh the toy drive was a success so the we, toy drive yes we collected 35 toys 35 toys so yeah that's that's pretty cool so they're gonna go to a couple different locations um be watching our posts for that we'll absolutely. talk about that absolutely and so speaking of um you know posting things mm-hmm. one of the things that we do have is we do have a kofi yeah uh, not coffee kofi, kofi. our kofi is at uh, kofi.com slash blood in the cornfields yeah donate anything uh five dollars or more anything we're we're totally awesome you know we're totally okay with like that'd be awesome just one, it does cost quite a bit of money to continue to yeah. release episodes. Absolutely. Um, you know, we have a recurring monthly fee to release episodes, um, especially through our streaming service. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the other thing is, too, like, we want to get more merch out there. Yeah. We want to be able to, you know, uh, show off love for yes. blood in the cornfield, especially Absolutely. to all of you cellar dwellers. Yep. And that we do have shirts that are available right now. I want to say I've got three large Three XLs. So please reach us out. Any probably just DM our Instagram or something. Mm-hmm. Um, you can get a hold of us. We do have shirts that are available, and if more requested, I will order more. No problem. Uh, but yeah, it's also to you know any funds that we get, it makes it easier to be more interactive in the community. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we're just doing things here in Goshen, but like we're trying to reach out and kind of 
branch out to maybe other podcasts in different areas, whether Absolutely. it's like Detroit, whether it's Chicago, <laughs> stuff like that. And, you know, funds for that will just make it that much easier for us to be able to link up, um, you know, do other podcasts, also do events in the community, you know, different things like that. So, um, yes, please, if you do feel inclined to donate. If not, that's fine. Whatever. That'd be nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, it's not Just a make or break season a of giving, you know. <laughs> yeah. But Absolutely. whatever. You do you. All right. Enough slutting the podcast out. Um, that's right. <laughs> let's get to just being sluts. Just being sluts. Yes. Let's do what we do best. So this sounds like it would be more of a Valentine's Day episode, but you know what? Love is in the air all the time. You need to be sweet to your other... Exactly. Once or twice a week. Let's not overdo it here. Let's keep (laughs) those standards low. (laughs) And to be honest, like, my husband and I have an anniversary coming up. Not going to make this about us. But you know what? I thought about it and I'm like, you know what? What gets you in the mood? (laughs) Monsters get you in the mood. (laughs) There you go. So... We are going to be doing Smasher Pass Monster Edition. Okay. And awesome. I am so excited for this because this is going to be stupid. Yes. And I'm so happy. <laughs> I have no idea of any of these. So, uh, oh, yeah. I, so I, I, I've I just, not seen a thing. I just found a list and I'm just going to go through them and we're just going to say, would we fuck them or not? Okay, there you go. <laughs> You're going to have to give me background because okay. I am terrible with names. And no. there's some names you rattle off that I may be like, oh, There oh, are shit. some in this list that are a little like, I did, had to look up who they were. And I'm like, oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to go down the list. We're going to start with some, maybe some uh, normal no, you're gonna ones. throw one to me, and uh, then we're gonna we're just gonna both. Okay, all right. Both will say whether we smash or pass. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So we're both going down the list, and then we're doing. Yep. All right, all right. We'll just you're, say you're figuring this out with all of us, folks. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it sounded fun. So, <laughs> uh, like I said, these are some normal ones. So let's go through the list. All okay. right. Let's start it off. Let's start it off. Freddy Krueger. Would you smash or pass him? Freddy Krueger. Um. I'd have to pass because what's he going to do with that other, what's he going to do with that hand? I don't <laughs> you know. He's probably going to be tearing up my back and shit or right. I don't know. Like, I'm terrified. I would definitely. Okay. Freddy so, Kruger. so I got to think about this because I, <laughs> because like he's burnt. I, I know. I was yeah. thinking to myself, I'm like, it's got to be a quickie because you're not going to be like kissing all yeah, over his face or. Yeah. I can't. I, 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 yeah. no, I, I, there, I could not, I could not foreplay with this man. burnt? Yikes. Is their skin going to be falling Flaking off while off? it's... Oh, uh, I don't yeah, that's, like It's got to be that. a pass for me. So definitely pass. Honestly, I never thought about that. Here, I, here, you don't I want was any like, crispy foreskin? Okay, here's... Ew. So here's the thing. I was thinking like, okay, he can go inside my dreams. You know, like, oh, that's kind of hot. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's kind of cute. You know, he, can, he does that little tongue thing in the phone. A little, like, it can be cute. And then, uh, then you say that, and I'm yeah. like, okay, no, I had pass. to bring you back to reality. Pass, nope. Let's think logically here, yeah, man. Get he, out of your damn dream world. <laughs> he's, he's not for me. <laughs> All right, next one. Oh, fittingly enough, Candyman. Candyman. Oh. Pat. Or no, no, fuck. Fuck hard. Okay, okay. Would him. <laughs> I love that man. <laughs> man, again, you know, I'm trying to put myself in a more female mindset, but... Still, I, mean, I can't get past the. You that, only got one hand, that bud. Smooth voice, though. <laughs> he does he, have a pretty good he voice. He could just whisper sweet nothings in the ear the whole <laughs> time, and it's like, oh, that's fine. <laughs> and the bees might be kind of cool flying around. Oh, that would be scary. See. Now you make me think about these things. <laughs> okay, uh, if you look at it from a man's perspective, okay, like. Don't tell me that you wouldn't be in love with that voice. So you may be a so, straight man. OK, but. so for that and I'm thinking like we would have to have some sort of terms about, hey, hey, Jack, where are you <laughs> keeping that hand? But with the voice, I would switch to a one night stand. OK, smash. one night, one night stand smash. I see. That. I don't think I'd be hanging around for very long. We'll, we'll give a smash. Yeah, I don't like the fact that he smash. likes to try to take babies. That's <laughs> Well, but hey, he tries to steal babies. You that's might get scary. some candy on your pillow. Yeah, that's kind of. I I take sweets. Yeah, he's and he's also like he's yeah. like Dracula. I've crossed oceans of time for <laughs> yeah, you, yes. and it's like, ooh yeah. But I agree. The voice, okay, yeah, yeah, because he to me he's offering a little bit more than Freddie. Man, so. 
Candyman would just make me melt. I'd just be like, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's All awesome. right, next All right. one. Uh, <laughs> it's a silly one. Uh, Belial. <laughs> Belial oh. from Basket Case, because he fucks. He fucks I in the second movie. About that. He has a baby in the third movie. He's just a little thing, though. How do they fuck? I don't know, I don't but know. it happened. No, you know what? You, you got to bring something more for me. I'm a classy broad. <laughs> you got to you gotta have something. Is he got to wine and... Does Belial need to wine no, and dine no. you? No, I can be sleazy. It's just he... <laughs> He's, he can't have much working for him down there. The thing that scares me is he's got teeth. Yeah, <laughs> those are he gonna those do? Are crooked and like sharp and yeah. That's scary. No, I'm, I got two high standards. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass him on. Pass I'm, him on. I'm gonna be real. I will pass on yeah. him too. I'm sorry. That's too much. <laughs> I'm okay. sorry. That was funny. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're, ooh, going classic. Uh, Frankenstein's monster. So. You know what? I bet he gives nice hugs. <laughs> well, so this is this is my thought. I'm trying to like you know put on the female mindset, and I'm thinking like I know a lot of you out there, females like to be manhandled, and I think that's a dude that could probably do that. You so pick up a little girl, throw her. Yeah. Blink. So you know, I'm thinking I'm going. I'm thinking I'm going smash on this one. I hundred yeah. percent would yeah. smash Frankenstein. I got some monster. big old hands. You know what? And he's made out of multiple parts, so there you go. You know, all of them's pretty large too, so I'm guessing. You know what? Plus, you know, like he was handmade. So I mean, like, are you really? If you're gonna hand make a guy, like, are you really gonna give him a small package? <laughs> give a small package. No, you're gonna give him a big honking cock. You're like that's make just him. how it's going. <laughs> he's gonna be so confident in himself. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's why like in like you've seen young frankenstein right yeah, yeah yeah like at the end where like he seduces like frankenstein's like wife oh, and man, she's like sweet like, mystery of life you that's know like my childhood <laughs> <laughs> oh my god every year and honestly uh goshen brewing company had a screening of that this really? halloween and that was so fun it was outside oh. and it was a perfect night and it was see, casper's first outside oh, movie see, i'm too damn anti-social my girlfriend is too she's even worse than i am so like we, don't need we to just talk don't to nobody i know we we have so much fun together i mean so it's like you know oh, all yeah. cute couple stuff but yeah. um yeah i, I need to I need to find out more about stuff and actually get my I, I my will keep you in pasty the pale white ass out of the out of the house. I'll keep I you don't in ever the see sunlight. All right, mm. next one. It's another silly one. <laughs> the Babadook. So the gay icon himself. You know he's really mysterious. <laughs> That's what I'm rolling with the the fingers. He gets summoned by a book. Yeah, he's got the long. He's the one that has the long hand, right? He's got the long fingers. Long fingers. Yeah, because he's always creeping behind the door. And yeah. He's got the hat and yeah, shit. Yeah, he's got the hat. He's mysterious, so I I think the female side of me would would go for someone mysterious, uh -huh. and maybe he could work some magic with those fingers. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. So yeah, I would go with. Let's do smash. I'd have to pass. Smash Rooney on I'd that have one. to pass for Baba Duck. Yeah. And the only reason for that is like, don't go anywhere near my kid. <laughs> Don't touch my kid. Well, yeah, that's true. Don't, don't go anywhere near him. Also, it's the mouth for me. Yeah. <laughs> like that mouth. I bet you can do some great things with that mouth, <laughs> but it ain't for me. Okay. Understandable. <laughs> Understandable. Uh, all right. Next one. I don't know what they mean by this, but Jigsaw. The puppet or the dude? Thinking, <laughs> the little guy on the trike. Right? Okay. Because that's what I think of when I think of Jigsaw. I don't think of Tobin Bell. That's true. That's true. But I guess he am is, I gonna fuck a puppet? Jigsaw though. Yeah. So it's like, am I fucking the puppet or the guy or the cancer patient? <laughs> like, does he have right? He had, yeah, because he had cancer, right? Um, <laughs> would I do it just to get on his good side? <laughs> fuck um, me. Yeah. You know. Oh, so all right, we have to decide. What, yeah. are, what are we talking about here? Are we talking about the little the trike rider or the cancer patient jigsaw? Man. It would be more interesting if it's a puppet, wouldn't it? The, tr the trike rider. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> want to play a game? <laughs> we're going we're gonna to tie you up. <laughs> oh, okay. We're going to play hide the sausage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, um, <laughs> you know, let's say little trike. Okay. And no, I would say that if I was a chick, I would... I would have to have some sort of height requirement on that one for that little guy. 
No, he's not tall enough to ride this ride. Honestly, pass for me. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Another funny one, but kind of serious. Annie Wilkes from the from Misery. Oh no! Hell to the no! <laughs> Hell to the no! No, that we bitch. do not want a clingy bitch. We do not want a crazy. So little, I'll let you into a little bit of something here. Guys do like a little bit of crazy. Yeah, we a lot of us I do like that. a little bit of crazy. Yeah, no hell no. <laughs> She's fifteen times that. Nope, nope, nope. Nowhere near. Hell no. You know why? I feel like <laughs> she just needs a woman's touch. <laughs> she needs a lot more than that. So, so, so I would smash her. You, okay. But then it would be like a one night stand thing. Like there if I go. could get away, I'm going to get away. She's your candy man. Yeah. Okay, I, right. I'd get away. Okay. I'd hope so anyway. <laughs> nah, just don't sleep in that bed. Yeah. Goddamn. <laughs> you she, won't get up. Nah. All right. Oh, this one's easy. Ash Williams. He's not a monster, but like no. he was on the list. So, OK, Ash, I would take one for the team and, and bang him for Blake. I mean, like, oh, Blake, that's so yeah, yeah, I would take one for the team. Oh, <laughs> I love that. You'd bang him for Blake. A hundred percent would fuck Ash hard. <laughs> yep. Not a problem. Uh, All right. He, I could take his chainsaw any day. <laughs> All right. Oh, Cenobites. OK, so any of them. Oh, any of them? Any of them. Yeah. Pinhead. So the any of them. And I feel so bad because I love Hellraiser two so much. The chick that's in it, absolutely. Oh, are you talking I about th- the mom? Like no, 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 no. The 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 weird bitch. Oh, me, my, oh. Are you talking about the girl? Like the girl that gets away? I can never. No, remember no, the no, name. no. The Cenobite. Uh, we might have the to. one with the cute neck thing going on. Yes. Yes. Okay, her. Yes. Yes. The cute neck thing. I don't know what what her name is. I don't know what her like because there's like, name is. you know, because butter you butter butterball, butterball and chatterbox. Right. Um, I don't remember her name. Throat. <laughs> throat, <chick>? throat. <laughs> Deep throat. Yeah, that's her name. That's her name. <laughs> oh, man. So for me, I would definitely a uh, pass. I am a pussy when it comes to pain. Really? So I know that they can show you unbelievable pleasures, you know, beyond yeah. your imagination, the cross between pleasure and pain. I can't do it. I'm sorry. She wears I, a lot of black, though. She, she Okay. She makes my little goth heart proud. <laughs> yeah. But, like, I could not. I could not with any of them. I'd be too afraid. Oh. Yeah, no. I'm I'm on board. <laughs> you I'm would, on board, You'd yeah. pass them? No, 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 no. Smash. Oh, I'm you would smashing. smash? Yeah. Oh, man. Did I say smash? I would pass. I would hard pass them because no. I'm scared. I'm smashing, but the throat one. The oh, throat one. Would... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Smash, the throat one. Smashing the throat one. <laughs> I love that. Maybe smashing her throat, but <laughs> that's the throat one. I mean, you do you. <laughs> all right. This one, I'm all for. Okay. Creature from the Black Lagoon. Oh. Fuck hard. Smash oh. him. I love the creature. <laughs> you could take me any day to your lair. I kid uh. you not. Fucking, uh, uh, was it, was that movie? The fish fucking movie. Oh, um, it's my favorite, and I can't it. think of it right I off the top of my either. head. We will oh, probably have to pull it up in notes. Shape of Water. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Hundred percent. That's my fantasy. <laughs> that, he was hundred percent though. He was sweet. Yeah. He was sexy. Yeah. Take me. That's fine. <laughs> Smash for me. So I'm coming from another perspective. <laughs> I'm passing. You don't want the fishy man? No. So, first of all, I don't eat seafood. Oh. I don't like seafood. You don't want to I don't smell like shrimp. Them? I don't like, no. But that's the thing. I'm a sense guy. You come into my place, like, I have scents all over the place. I've got, like, yeah, I'm big on scents. I always try to smell good. <laughs> People that know me know this. I always smell good. Um, so, no, I could not stomach the smell of a swampy guy. <laughs> no. Swamp no. Guy. I'm just thinking. So fishy pussy don't yeah, do that for you he either. He smells like a bayou and, like, no. Uh-uh. <laughs> Oh no, my you, God. you go right ahead and let me know how it was. That's so funny. <laughs> and see, best. Okay, so little known fact about me: I can't smell. I literally have no sense of smell at all. So okay. it wouldn't bother me. There you go. Well, that Win-win. Match made in heaven. <laughs> there you go. All right, here's another one: Michael Myers. So 
Yeah, no, we're we're smashing on this one. Uh, it's I just yeah, yeah I mean, it just seems obvious. I think it's almost like if I kind of put on like a little slutty female mindset, <laughs> I'm almost banging him just for the status symbol. Okay, it's Michael Myers. Yeah, you know, no, it's like the, the you know top of the food chain type shit. No, I get that. Oh like, yeah, he, he's just he's a silent type. He's a cute silent type. Yeah, you can. We'll get to that later. <laughs> you could say that about Jason. But, like, he's just, he's silent. Good man, I'll you just a little bit. There you go. Honestly, it'll probably be a one-night stand because he would kill me the next day. But you know what? He cute. Or he might just stare out your window okay. the next day. You know what? I don't like to be <laughs> stared at, but you know what? <laughs> Michael Myers, I'd feel like it'd be an honor. Like, okay. Yeah. He, <laughs> yeah. Neat. he is a certified creeper. Yeah. I can smell my own kind. <laughs> he, he, he is a creeper. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. All right. So let's see. Who's the next one here? Oh, have you ever seen the movie Nightbreed? A long time ago. I remember the main character because he's human. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of non-human yep. thing. I don't remember the premise of it, but yes, I, I've seen it, but woo, way long time ago. So Nightbreed is a great movie. It's another Clive Barker inspired yes, movie. Yes, I freaking love Clive um, Barker. Or, yeah, it was Clive Barker. Um, <clears throat> and it's just this this movie about like basically racism. Yeah. And it's like this group of like humanoid freaks that mm -hmm. have to hide in like a, I think a cemetery or like mausoleum or something like that because they're being hunted all the time. Yeah. And the human guy turns into one of the night breed. Um, 100% would smash the, the night human breed. guy. OK, that, uh, okay. <laughs> let me show you who I'm talking about. <laughs> and while she's looking that up, side note for any yeah. of you Clive Barker fans out there, The Thief of Always is an amazing Ooh. Clive Barker book. It's kind of a I don't want to say a children's book, oh, really? but it kind of is amazing, amazing book. The Thief of Always. If you like reading and you're a little bit of a reading nerd, check it out. Badass book. Love Clive Barker. That is cool. OK, yeah. <clears throat> so um. <laughs> There's two specific people I would isn't probably he, go isn't after. Isn't he the actor that played Angel? He, actually, I think you're right. His name like David right. Alice or something like that? I may I be think you're way right. off. This is a person that I would go after. Oh, oh, what is that? She, she is kind of porcupine-y, and I dig her. She's, that, very, she's very cute. That might be hard to work out. That, it would probably hurt like a bitch, but she's kind of cute. And also, okay. so is this dude. Uh, he's got like a weird head. I dig him. He looks like a real life comic book character, right? He's he's like a punk, <clears throat> and I kind of dig that. Like he'd he'd go to punk shows with me. He'd go to metal shows with me. Yeah, we'd yeah. have a great time. <laughs> so porcupine chick is, is that's who we'll settle on. Porcupine chick. Porcupine. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not much of a, a pain and pleasure type guy. I'm <laughs> I'm I'm Nixon porcupine chick. Nope. I mean, I don't want to get hurt by her, but you know, you hear that like porcupine quills if you actually like touch them or like not porcupine oh okay is it porcupine or hedgehogs that are like if you touch them they're actually really soft hell if i know i'm probably <laughs> guessing hedgehog though. maybe it's hedgehog they seem a little bit cuter yeah okay well maybe she's a hedgehog jig but no those are Could definitely be. porcupine quills <laughs> <laughs> all right uh next one is a pretty obvious one jennifer from jennifer's body <clears throat> she's yeah. a teenager yeah you know well <laughs> So she's not unattractive. Let's just get that out of yeah, the way. No, of course gorgeous. she's hot. Whatever. It's Megan Fox. Um, <clears throat> you know, she's she's got a lot of, I don't want to say crazy going on. She's got a lot you of You know, baggage. I'd roll the dice. Let's just, let's just bang Megan Fox and hope that we get less of the... <laughs> the shittier version of her and we get more of the like hey i'm not uh like what she turned into like some vampire type oh she's creature a succubus thing. yeah i was yeah. like you know let's hope that she doesn't do that <laughs> so let me let me you know clarify this so we're banging megan fox and then we're hopping out a window afterwards <laughs> yep yeah, yeah, so that, no. that's where we're going with. We're, we're I honestly, okay, so I'm a little bit with you there, but also <laughs> I, I'm smashing hard, <laughs> hard smash on Jennifer. Uh, I understand she's a teenager, but this is older Jennifer. Mm -hmm. This is Megan Fox I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> this is an older woman who was probably in her, if I remember correctly, she was like in her 20s yeah. when she made the movie. So she is not a teenager. Yeah. Megan Fox, I would fuck. Yeah. Megan Fox is a succubus. I would fuck. I understand. <laughs> I understand. You're rolling the dice. I understand I would die, <laughs> no. but that's okay. 
neat. I get killed by this beautiful woman. Awesome. Cool. I'm okay with that. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going in and out and out the window, but I'm probably <laughs> spending more time on her to, in hopes that she doesn't kill me afterwards. Uh -huh. So that's a, that's a yes, I'd smash, but with an emphasis of like putting more of it of like mm -hmm. my attention being on her and then always knowing where the exits are. So, you know, yeah. she starts getting a little freaky. I'm going to punch her in the face and hop out the window. <laughs> just as simple as that. <clears throat> All right. This is one for you because you recently just went back to the series, the woman in white from insidious. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 not, not banging the woman in white. Um, <clears throat> no, because the woman, <laughs> no, no, the woman, <laughs> Oh, the woman in white is really that older guy. Yeah, no, no. And he's not like all that aside. He's not attractive at all. He's really he's he's, he's kind of fucked up. So, no, we are not banging the woman in white, which is really an older dude. I love that. Was just, uh, that was you got perfect. me thinking there. You, I'm glad yeah. it was on the list. And I'm just like, oh, you just recently rewatched these. This is yeah. perfect. So, yeah, pass for me, too. Yeah. I, I even older man. Ew. No. Even the older man, like just no. taking it at face value. No, no, that's not for me. You don't get this body. I mean, yeah, she's <laughs> cute, but no, I'm good. <laughs> OK. Pennywise. Pennywise. You know what? I'm saying hard smash because he can shape shift. But I also like clowns. So it's like Oh, okay. That's true. That's cool. I um like, I like both. So are we going with the bill pennywise? Oh, I either. I'm fine with either. Bill okay. or Tim Curry, because Tim Curry's hot in his own way. Bill's cute in his own way. Either one's fine. So I'm going I'm gonna go with Smash because I like how he says Georgie. He's doing that in your ear. <laughs> yeah. I got something for you, Georgie. <laughs> I just love how he says that. And is it, it's like, I want, I would want to see what his junk looks like. <laughs> I'm like thinking like. You think it'd be space cop? I don't know. I, that's why. That's why I'm saying smash to like find it out. I love that. <laughs> this is too perfect. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Greta Gremlin. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about the one that puts on the lipstick. Uh, she's hey hey she's transgender and she's beautiful. <laughs> okay okay no so I'm thinking she's the prettiest of the gremlins. She's like the only female gremlin. Uh, yeah. Um, Besides I, the I one mean, in the original one that yeah. was like Stripes' girlfriend. That's true. <laughs> I'm envisioning her in like a pink dress. Am I right on she that? She is in like a pink boa and yeah. then later on in a wedding dress at the very end. Bitch has several outfits. <laughs> I love her. I would hard <laughs> smash that bitch. Okay. She's so cute. She's <clears throat> flawless. I've told many people this and friends that know me. I would love to get a tattoo, but I'm too afraid to get tattoos, <laughs> but I'd love to get a tattoo of Tiffany and Greta together. Interesting. They're my two favorite iconic fashion <laughs> bitches, and I'd love to have them somewhere. <clears throat> well, you know, I've got low standards and sent you love her so much. I I would bang her and share the experience with you. <laughs> We would talk about we, it afterwards. We'd kiss and tell. <laughs> was it as good for you as it was for me? <laughs> bitch had long arms. I feel like she would be slightly slimy, too. You think she'd be slimy? I feel like she would be slimy. As long as you don't get her in sunlight, I think she's good. <laughs> All right, okay. All right, next one. Oh. Oh, my. What do we got? Jason Voorhees. Jason Voorhees. Mm. Huh. I need to know your thoughts first because I'm about to uh, so, go off. So, you know, I could say the whole status thing, but I've already went that route with Michael. Um, I'm going to say pass because I'm <gasps> saying pass because pass? he's a big, dumb fucking idiot. He can't do nothing for me after sex. That's just <laughs> and he's got worms in him and Don't shit. Listen to him, Jason. <laughs> I just don't think he offers much out of the sack. So I'm going to be a classy version of me and say, no, no. Oh, 
I'm passing. Oh, uh, off, 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 whatever. I feel microphone. like I even have to explain to him how to do the dishes. No. Yes. He's not going to make me no. coffee. Like, I, he, could you imagine you Jason wanna... trying to pour me coffee in the morning or okay. make me coffee? Okay. He, he couldn't even figure that shit out. Okay. Nope. Nope. But, okay. <laughs> when I went off, off microphone there for a second, I went to go cover the cardboard cutout of my Jason's ears. You do not speak to my <laughs> husband that way. I'm sorry, Luke. But I love this man. So this, so I have a Jason cardboard cutout that's literally behind us all the time. The most sexiest cardboard cutout I own. He has got this beautiful chest, and I swear to God, he's packing. And I'm like, he is cute. I'd let him do so many bad things to me. I love Jason, hands down. Right. Everybody knows that. No, that knows who I am. I just, okay, to answer your question, I could imagine that beautiful hunk of man <laughs> serving me coffee. What? I don't even like coffee, but I would accept it from him. <laughs> he would be, he probably wouldn't know how to do it. Yeah. But, but I could go behind him like pat, like <laughs> With your small self, you cannot reach around that man. I would somehow find a way, and it would be like that scene from Ghost, but with coffee, and we would make it together. Okay, yeah, because he's an idiot, so you'd have to show him. That's fine. He'd do it for mommy. Okay, all right, all right. I get you, I get you on that one. All right, so we got a more obscure one. Uh, uh, trash. From uh, Return Living Dead. Oh, um, you go first on this one. A hundred percent would smash her. It's Linnea quickly. Yeah, I know. Um, so I'm going to say yes, because mm -hmm. she reminds me of the punk rock chick in the Dream Warriors. One okay. of my all time favorite movies. Okay. And the punk rock chick in Dream Warriors is getting smashed like 15 times. Don't even know that chick but from my childhood. Yes. So she reminds me of her. Mm -hmm. So, yes, we're going smash on that. You don't one. even mind that, like, the fact in the <clears throat> in the in the cemetery scene, she has no pussy. That's OK. We'll figure something out. <laughs> How does that work? We'll figure something out. <laughs> we're figuring it out. Uh, all right. So, ooh, another obscure one, okay. but. I think we already know what our answer is going to be. Julie from Eternal Living. I Death was 3. hoping you were going to say this. This is the absolute hardest smash for me, probably in the existence of smashes. My one lust for million her is nuts. percent. Like she's a number one for like fictional character. Like I don't think there's. I would castle freak her and bite off her nipple. <laughs> oh like my I God. mean, that's all she I'm saying. She would like that too. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> she needs that to survive. <laughs> yep. Wholeheartedly, yeah, yeah, I would definitely smash her. She is just so beautiful. Even now, like the actress, it's like she's yeah, fifty four. We talked about her in yes. the last episode, and oh. it's like she's just so gorgeous. Yeah, I can't. She's very pretty. Yeah. Uh, even with like all the metal and shit, that's what makes her even more gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. It's like, damn, okay, yeah. you're hardcore, bitch. And she was, yeah, she was just absolutely just hot when she was younger. She was smoking, so mm -hmm. yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Ooh, we're going uh, classic again, Dracula. Dracula. There's so many Draculas. Which one? You know, I feel like Dracula <laughs> would care about how he smells. He's kind of got <laughs> suave, you know? Yeah, he's very suave. He's very suave, so I'm like, okay, yeah, he could probably swoon me. So, yes, let's let's smash Dracula. 100% would smash Dracula. He's yeah. crossed oceans at times to be with me. <laughs> Him and Candyman are racing <laughs> for oh, you. Oh, they're racing for me? Oh, I love they're that. They're neck and neck. But you know what? <laughs> Creature sweeps me off my, off my feet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Awesome. So then uh, let's kind of do a little bit quicker here because we got we're starting to kind of run out of time. But, All right. Just a couple um, more. A couple more. So another weird one. Xenomorph. Oh, um, the queen. Would you would you would fuck the, the queen? Would queen. If there. So I can say that if there's any of them that I would bang, <laughs> it would be the queen. But. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> she's too slimy. Too slimy. Pass. It's and the I don't acid know, mouth I don't know me. where I'm going with things or where things may be going towards me. I don't mm-hmm. know what the hell to do here. No. We're, she's we're scary. Passing. We're passing. I don't want her either. Plus, do you have to give the little baby thing that comes out of her mouth attention? Oh, man. Like, that's too much work. <laughs> that's too much work for me. <laughs> All right. Uh, another one. Uh, <laughs> Pearl. Oh, did, yeah, we're 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 Mia smashing Goth? we're smashing twice. Twice. Mia, Mia Goth can play a freaking janitor and she'd get smashed. Smash hard for Absolutely. her. Absolutely. And her in Infinity Pool? Oh I still haven't seen that one yet. Holy shit. I'm excited though. I need to see that one. Yeah, she's a special type of crazy. Oh. So yes, Mia Goth gets an automatic free pass. Like that's not even a question. So we are smashing. <laughs> Smasher. <laughs> All right. Ooh, Leatherface. Um, yeah, we're we're smashing that big dumb idiot. You're going to smash Absolutely, him? Absolutely, yes. I'm not my smashing favorite, him. My favorite franchise. I feel like he's a little musty, a little gamey. Oh. <laughs> a little you, smells like iron. You got to go hey. call him that, gamey. <laughs> but we're getting past that. You know, I feel like he's teachable. Yeah. You know? He's teachable. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Got to put, put Bubba, put the chainsaw down. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're going to put okay. the chainsaw down. That's the reason I could not smash him is because he's too much like a child. <laughs> I would be too. Af- I, I'd be like, no, no, I can't do this. I'm sorry. You're too much like a little kid. I can't. No. Nope. So pass for Le- me. Leatherface is getting it. Leatherface is getting it good. All right. Next one is. Oh, my God. Uh, the thing. <laughs> The thing, oh, I, it can shape shift. I was gonna say, yeah, it can, but I don't. Mm, nope. Yeah, no, because I it's too creepy, too creepy, and I don't know exactly what I'm doing with it. So we're gonna say we're gonna say uh, pass on that one. Pass. All right. Uh, next one. Uh, again, just a couple more. Uh, pff, the mother from Barbarian. Um, saggy titty lady. Yeah, you know, cool movie. So she scores points there. <laughs> um, you know what? Everybody can be a little bit slutty and lower their standards. Oh, Let's go for it. You would. Let's go for it. Let's smash. Hard pass. I don't mind being her baby, but I ain't fucking her. <laughs> no, no. Where's no. your sense of adventure? <laughs> and not there. She's scary. That bit. Did you see what she did to that homeless guy? She full on like ripped him in half. I'm okay, like, okay, but like, what would she do to me? Well, she's gonna have to tone it down, simmer down a little simmer bit, down. Man, simmer down. Hey, Remember? I could give her. No, you could give her a baby. <laughs> Never mind. You'd, you'd fulfill all her wishes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> all right. Uh, last two. We have. Um, <laughs> The Krampus. Okay, so you know, I I don't even know this for fact because I, <laughs> I, I feel like I feel like Krampus could be like a uh, a fling that comes and goes because he's only around the holiday time, right? So you know, he's I, I'm I'm kind of curious about what the junk looks like. <laughs> And the fact that I know he's not going to hang around a lot. He's not going to want to meet the kids. He's not going to want to have kids. He's yeah. got like a vacation home somewhere else. Yeah, he only shows up in the winter. So, you know, he's not going to nag me or be around long. So we're we're banging Krampus. We're banging him. You know, what? I would probably bang <clears throat> Krampus, too. Um, but the version of Krampus I would bang. Would not be the one from the 2015. Okay, so that's movie. that's the version I'm thinking. <clears throat> oh, really? I don't like the long mouth. Yeah, I don't really either. But I know he's not going to be around very long. Oh, that's true. I I, 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 I hang with it. I don't dig the long mouth, but I like. There's one other Krampus that looks more devil looking. Okay. Furry, cute. There we go. Muscular would bang that. Okay. One. All right. All right. I'm sluttier <laughs> than you are. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So then the last the last one. one Angela from Night of the Demons. So possessed Angela. I love her style. She's getting it. Yeah. Yes, she's yeah. got good style. She's kind. Uh, I feel like she's a little slimy, but um, we can get past that because 
The actress actually is attractive, so you can still see a little bit of that shining through. Mm -hmm. But her style, her style's got me. So Uh, she's a well, like in the movie, she dresses up as like a goth chick. Yeah, and she even dances to like, um, God, Stigmata Matter. Yeah, and it's like, oh, that's fucking cool. She's goth all the way through. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. Her style. She's got she's got good style for a character. So man, I don't know if I could smash her just because she's a bitch. She's mean. I don't like her. She's you kind know, of a. I sometimes meanness is okay when it's not directed at you. <laughs> okay, that's true. So, I would much rather bang Suzanne. Okay, Linnea yeah, quickly. Yeah, yeah with yeah. the lipstick. Yeah, yep, yeah, the lipstick. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Hard, hard smash her. But yeah, yeah, they both can get it. Yeah, you know they both can get. They're it. They're both but, technically mean girls, but it's like I would choose Suzanne you know, over her. I just want to try and change them. You know, I oh. just want to try. I just want to try and make them into nice people. Oh, that's <laughs> sweet of you. I love that. And then if they don't, I'm jumping out the fucking window. Uh, I'm yeah. jumping out the window. No, yeah, that's probably the answer to everything. Jump out the window at last minute. Well, this has been fun. This was silly. I dug this. Absolutely. Thank you for indulging me. <laughs> for giving you the uh, best <clears throat> answers you possibly could have. <laughs> that, that was funny. Oh, my God. Now you all are going to be thinking about Freddy Krueger's penis the next time that you see anything to do with Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. It's all charred. <laughs> charred foreskin <laughs> falling off. It's just oh. got to It's got to be like something. I, I don't know. Before that, you are all very, very welcome. Yes, for that. have a good time. <laughs> hey, even tell us who would you smash or pass? Yes, and since we're kind of you know wrapping this up, I will go back and say, hey, we appreciate um, you guys tuning in and viewing. We've got some pretty decent uh, responses. The thing I would encourage you all is write in the notes <clears throat> if you have something you want to hear us talk about, or if you have anything else. Put it in the comment section. Hit us up. Send a DM our way on Instagram Even or whatever. Email us. We have an email. <clears throat> we do. We use archaic email. So yes. <laughs> yes, fan interaction is great. I mean, this is a local type podcast. I mean, yes, if you're in Milwaukee, Chicago, if you're in Ohio, that's great too because we do talk about Midwest stuff. Yep. But this is like a Northern Indiana thing. So this is a podcast for you all too. So please um, interject. Write in notes. Write in the comments. Like us, subscribe. I've seen some of you subscribing. So yep, so thank you so congrats much. Congrats to that. With that being said, look, look after each other and good night, seller dwellers. dwellers. Bye. 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 <laughs> bye, bye, bye.